Hello everyone, this is Joshua DD9000 and welcome back to another video. And wow, it has been a long time since I did a video of me speaking to my audience directly, but I figured it's about time. After all, a lot of you have been requesting for me to make a video about this, so why not give the fans what they want? Um, in case you uh, didn't read the title for whatever reason, uh, this is a video of me showing you guys um, all of the settings that I use to emulate Cars 2 for the PlayStation 3 on the RPCS3 emulator for the PlayStation 3. <laughs> um, and before I begin, I kind of just want to emphasize this. I am not all that tech savvy. I am not an expert when it comes to these emulators. There's still a lot that I don't know about them. If for whatever reason you choose to use the settings that I use and end up getting a bunch of glitches, there's not really much I can do to help you. I'm sorry. This is just to show you what I use and hopefully you get the same results. Um, in terms of my PC specs, they're all listed in the description box below. Um, so yeah, please look at that. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, let's begin. So. I'll open up the PlayStation 3 emulator. Uh, so what I do is, so for each game, I kind of have different settings for different games because they all perform differently. You have Toy Story 3 here, which is coming soon. Um, I also have Cars Race Orama. Um, I would like to play Cars Race Orama for the PlayStation 3, but that won't be until a little later. Then we have Cars 2, which is what you guys really want to talk about. So what I do is I right click and I click, uh, then I click on create custom configuration. And here it is. These are the settings. So CPU is set to the recompiler or LLVM. I don't know what that means, but yeah, that's what it is. The, C the SPU decoder is again, recompiler LLVM. Uh, everything else I don't bother with. Um, then I go to GPU. The renderer I use is Vulkan. You have other options. Um, uh, stick with Vulkan. I think that's the best one. Um, the graphics device that I use, again, all my PC specs are listed in the description, but the graphics card that I use is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX um, 1660 Super. The aspect ratio is 16.9, frame limit is off, and everything else is basically untouched. Uh, but one thing I would like to like to emphasize on, the default resolution being um, 1280 to uh, uh, 720p, do not mess with this. Um, I don't know why, but um, <clears throat> everything works just fine. Uh, when it stays on this. If you want to increase the definition or the resolution scale, this is the uh, bar you want to mess with. I have mine set to 150% at um, 1920 1080p, which will get you that high definition that you want YouTube to see. Um, as soon as you get all of these settings in, you just click apply and then save custom configuration. And that's pretty much all I do. I mean, there are some other settings. Audio, I don't mess with. Um, I slash O, don't really know what that means. I don't mess with. System, pretty much the same. Network, advanced. Again, I don't mess with these. You don't really, I don't think you really need to do anything about that. And then the emulator is pretty much the same. So, yeah. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I do for this. Um, Hopefully this was helpful for a lot of you guys who are asking. I hope it all works. And if not, oh well, you'll, you'll kind of just have to mess with it. Because again, everyone's PC is different. You may not get the exact same results. And uh, while I'm here, why don't I go ahead and get this game started? So, as you can see, while well, the emulation, I guess by most people, would be pretty decent... Uh, it's not perfect. Um, part of this also has to do with the compatibility of the game. Um, RPCS3 website has um, a list 
and um, of all the games and their level of compatibility, and they've created their own um, categories for that. Um, for Cars 2, they have it called In Game, and it kind of has like an orange dot next to it. Um, for Toy Story 3 and Cars Race Rama, uh, the dots were green and it said playable. That isn't saying that you can't play Cars 2, it's just, it's not going to work as well. And how to fix that? Well, that's really just up for the community to do and the creators of this emulator. I don't really know how to fix it, but that's pretty much all I can say at this point. Um, well, that basically concludes the rest of this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, stay tuned for the next Cars 2 gameplay and uh, future gaming videos to come. See you next time.